What's happening, y'all? This is DC Paul, slim and tall, and I pretend to know it all. That's all. Uh, this is The Misbelief, a show where millennials discuss creative culture, local music, all the while having fun. My co hosts this week are, what's your name, sweetheart? India Mac on the attack. Joseph made that up if you didn't like it. If you didn't like that, <laughs> blame the cameraman. <laughs> uh, who else you got here on, as co hosts? It's your boy Martin Bats Bradford. I ain't got no tagline, son. Yeah, oh, I, got, man. I, I, got, I don't know what's going on this week, sir. Man, look, I had you last week. This week, I'm like, you okay. know, brain freeze, brain force. You heard me? You're right. Brain sometimes force. we ain't gonna hit. I mean, just like your joke earlier. Sometimes we ain't gonna always hit. The you, now, now, now you deflecting. Ooh. Ooh. It, it was about you at first. Now it's about me. <laughs> you're That's right. Cool. You psycho and analyze me. You're right. You're That's right. You're cool, right. man. So we're talking about this segment is what's going on out here. We're gonna talk about local uh, what's going news, on out here. Topics, what's talking damn. points. Uh, talented people, events, and whatever's happening in the city concerning the millennials. Now, uh, at the beginning of our last break, we played a song called Welcome to the City by my man Quentin Hakeem. You can catch him almost every Wednesday at the Jazz Market on Aretha, Ca on Aretha Castle Hill. Aretha. In, Aretha Castle Hill in MLK um, from 9 to 1 with the band Cool Nasty and the hilarious host DC Paul. Um, oh, you know what? What else? <laughs> what else going on out here, man? We got Randall Rosenberg. Yes, sir. From Dancing Ground. How's it going? Pretty hey. good. How are you, man? I'm all right, man. I'm hanging in there. Um, it's been a long weekend. I celebrated my birthday yesterday. Yeah. Was, oh. Hey, was a happy birthday, brother. Fellow Pisces. Nice. So, yeah. so how are you? How old are you? Are you a millennial? Uh, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm 31. 31? Yeah, I'm 31. Right. 1986. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Nice, man. Okay. It's a beautiful year, beautiful year. It was nice. Yeah. It was a very beautiful year, man. It was like, I'll it, take it. It was, it was almost 85. That's, that's what it was like. Now. All right, so, um, <laughs> what's your, what's your misbelief story, Randall? Um, man, so, uh, I work for Dancing Grounds, and we're, it's our fifth year anniversary this year. And so, what we're going to do is we're throwing a big party next Saturday. I'm going to come through and tell people. Well, yeah, but I want your misbelief story first. Oh, what, what's, what's my misbelief story? A misbelief story? Okay, so, oh, yeah, Brandon, you're, you're not from here, right? No, I'm not from here. No. Oh, oh, I still got to already you gotta break it down for me, man. So, misbelief is the, it's a loquat or a Japanese, no, it's a fruit. Okay. It's a loquat or a Japanese plum or a japonica. Um, people call them different things. In mm -hmm. the world, they call them misbelief. So, you know, um, man, this is the stuff I need. I'm yeah, boy. and just about everybody who grew up in this city, people listening, people watching, everybody who's been interviewed, they have some kind of story from their childhood, or sometimes from their adulthood, about a misbelief tree being um, either in the grandmother's backyard. Where are you from, young, yeah. young man? You're from here, right? No. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, and no. the thing about it being a story is because, like, they, not everyone has these trees in their yard. So whenever you're a kid in the, in the hood or whatever, you see that you want to get this fruit, and this fruit isn't everywhere. Mm -hmm. It only pops up every at certain times of the year. So most of us have stories of sneaking in somebody's backyard yeah, and not climb up their fence. His but story that he, he was throwing misbeliefs at a dog. Man, uh, somebody's story that there was a broken bone involved. Like, you know, man, I in thought Kentucky, you... we don't, yeah, Kentucky, we don't have any cool, cool stories like that. I jumped, <laughs> I jumped over fences, but it was usually just to run from dogs. Okay, for well, other reasons. Like, it's I mean, Kentucky. You, I mean, I'm from Kentucky. You so kind of do have a, a misbelief story. As an adult, you drink a misbelief punch. Right? Yes, I can, I, can tell my, I can tell my first instance with misbelief punch for sure. Yeah, well, you, you, there's some things you cannot say. Okay. On the radio. All right. Oh, it's, 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 good. it's all good. It's all good. All right. All right. So um, I got invited to a wonderful uh, gathering of some uh, wonderful people of color. All right. You look okay. like I'm, 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 I'm worried about what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Now I'm thinking about every word. Yeah, think about it. Think it was about a, a gathering, a brunch gathering, and I met a fly individual who walked in the room, very uh, colorful, energetic fellow, and he was like, hey, man, how you doing? I was like, my name's DC Paul. I was like, hey, man. What's up? I heard about you, and we knew each other through uh, my old roommate, who was out, who was a stand-up comic um, mm -hmm. uptown. And uh, he was like, "Hey, um, look at this jar." And I'm like, <laughs> That's a pretty-looking beverage you got there, good sir. And I was like, "Good sir." He's like, "Do you want to try some?" I was like, "Well, why not?" And um, it was very delicious. And we were brothers. It was like brothers at first sight. He's like, he said, "The drink." I, I would not be in this chair right now. We wouldn't have this connection if it wasn't for this drink. Right. Misbelief. So I appreciate that. that. I appreciate that. that. A dog misbelief story. I really wish that I had a misbelief story. Though. No, you I'm just gave us one of the most epic yeah, yeah, that was misbelief one, stories we've ever had. So I, got, I got a Randall Rosenberg story. There you go. Uh, this past winter, you tried me. 
<laughs> oh no! Yeah, man. You, oh no! You do like, I gotta do this? Like, oh, I challenge you. This is to not. A sweater I thought we were, I thought we and had. I was like, what? Whoa. Oh, you don't. Know, you don't know, see wow. so you oh, like, you I got served trying to hit you. I should have known if I was gonna come on the radio show. I was gonna have to address this. Yeah, okay. man. Let's do, real quick before we go into the your, your personal <laughs> stuff. I want to deal with my personal stuff. the people that's out there that don't know, DC is known around town as the sweater king. He used to sweat sweaters in the summer, the spring, the fall, the winter, the church, the dances, the proms, the movies, everywhere. You're gonna see him with a nut, nice, fine I sweater. I take a shower and a, a sleeveless sweater. Yeah. I promise you, I do. So, right. if you try to challenge his sweater oh, acumen, he will up. take that specifically disrespectful. Oh, was it disrespectful? He threw the gauntlet. I, 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 I was set up. Okay, so. I'm like, what? But do you not uh, see this? This is alpaca. So all right, let's. What you talking Let me get my man. public apology out. Okay, let's go. Here's, how, here's what happened. Okay, here, here's my confession. So I tried during, it. During, 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 Randall tried it during the month of October. Um, I, I, I tried I, it. I, I <laughs> tried it. These I was I responded it. to it. <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> An Instagram post from DC talking uh -huh. about sweaters, and I challenged him to a sweater duel at High November. Um, Wait, hold. And, you yeah, actually? He's he not playing. You actually challenged him to a verbal a sweater duel. He said High November. I was High <laughs> November. When High November came over, like Ooh. High November as in early November. November. We yeah. going Western, yeah. black yeah. westerns yeah. with the and sweaters. And I was like, man, it's still it's still kind of a, it's still kind of hot. You know, it's the the weather's kind of going on. We got pushes in. But December. guess who was still wearing sweaters in High November? This uh, guy. Yeah. That's, <laughs> how you, that's how you get the title of the sweater king. He um, wants these sweaters in High November. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I just kinda hid it for a couple for a couple weeks. I didn't come out knew where you see Paul B at broadcasting this stuff. Um, no, it's all it's all love, man. Yeah. It's all love, man. It's all love. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, I admitted my defeat. Um, <laughs> got that. Um, I can't. I can't. It was. It was. It was a, it was a hard one. So I, I actually, I tried. I was like, you know what? It ain't that cold. But I'm gonna put this old shawl collar on anyway, and I'm gonna see what he's talking about. You know, what I'm <laughs> and see what he's talking about. He's talking about high November. All right. So, Randall, you are a, a dancer. Yes. Yes. Um, but more more so than that, you're an organizer. Yes, um, so I've been working with Dancing Grounds for the last four and a half years, and we, as an organization, are celebrating our fifth year anniversary this month. Um, so we have a series of events that we're going to be putting on for the next two weeks coming up, starting on Monday. Uh, for the next two weeks, we're going to have uh, $5 classes, so you can come take any class for uh, for $5. We got what? hip hop, ballet, contemporary, modern, Afro, modern. We have uh, contemporary African now. What? Yes, across two locations. Five dollars a class. Yes, five dollars a class. That's Whoa. it. Yes, less than, a, less than a value meal. I'm telling you. And where? I'm and telling where, you. where is, is Dancing Grounds? So Dancing Grounds is on 3705 Saint Cloud Avenue, and we also have classes at the North Stone Center at uh, 40 uh, 4300 Saint Cloud Avenue. Y'all in, in the night world? Yes, yes, yes. Y'all teaching twerk classes as well? Uh, we have a twerk shop class with Jazz Johnson and she, yeah, she, are you, oh, why are you looking at me like you know to take a class? I want to Peter Piper. Oh, Jazz. Oh, he going to get this Peter. Piper. Peter. Yeah, Piper. shout out some of your fellow dancers yeah, with dancing. Shout yeah, oh, okay, so, oh, so Buku Dance Crew. I got to talk about Buku Dance oh, Crew. Yeah, I'm talking man. about Dancing Ground. That's so, cool. um, uh, so Buku Dance Crew is our resident hip hop company. Uh, they couldn't be here with me right now because they're dancing at Buku Fest. What up, Buku Fest? So, uh, Breeze, uh, Justine, Laura. The director, Crystal Jones. What up, Crystal? Shouts What's out to Crystal, Crystal McMahon. You heard me? Crystal, Crystal, Crystal rolling, yo. Crystal is holding it down, and she's doing it. Like, she's the spirit. She keeps us going. She always keeps the city in her mind and her work. Yeah. I love her for it. I love like, you, Crystal, too. Shouts out. Um, yeah, Shanice Lee. I don't want to forget nobody. You know, I'm going to get in trouble if I do that. Blame mm -hmm. is heading out his heart because Randall got love for the dance. And for the Buku dance crew, he yes. been rocking the shirt for right Facebook here. Live, man. It's right here. But the other thing, so the 50th anniversary, we got a five dollar classes, and on March 18th, we're doing a humongous event called the Get Up and the Get Down. So we have two parts. Six to eight is our fundraiser. We're doing a fundraiser for the youth. We're gonna have youth performances. There's gonna be dinners, cocktails. You alright? <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's gonna be a, it's a little higher price event. And then in the evening, I mean in the evening, we're going from eight to twelve. It's gonna be a party. We got spoken word. I heard Quest is gonna be there. I heard Quest. Justin Lamb's gonna be what? there. I heard um, Keisha Slaughter and uh, and Monica McIntyre is gonna yeah, be there. The I heard, oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Buku Dance Crew is gonna be performing. It's gonna be a lot of dance. Uh, there's an open bar if you want to come and do okay. something. Uh, and this is a week from today, right? Yes, it's a week from it's a week from today. So. Um, uh, it's going to be taking place at the Sanctuary Cultural Arts Center on Franklin Avenue. I'm um, sorry, not Franklin Avenue, 2525 Burgundy Street. Okay. And if you want more information, uh, the event is on our on our Facebook page, uh, Dancing Grounds, and online, dancinggrounds.org. 
to check it out. And um, we have, since we're talking about community, we have one more special event that we're going to be ending these two weeks on called Dance for Social Change. And um, I actually brought in our education coordinator and fellow Buku Dance Crew member, Jeremy Guyton. Who's him over there? Bit. Yeah, this dude over here in the corner sitting here standing up here. He's yeah, standing outside. He'll, 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 he'll have to talk on the radio, but he will talk to the Facebook Jeremy. Live. He'll, 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 he'll have to talk to the radio. All right. Facebook Live will get a piece in, I promise you. You got you. And listen, Randall, uh, when we go to break, I hear that you and... Uh, Maybe this young man and maybe that young man are going to do a little something for us. He's going to give the Facebook Live a performance. A little something, something. JJ, you ready to dance? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. 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 Y'all right. right. listening and not watching my man JJ. How old are you, JJ? Nine. He nine? He look like he's seven. He's that's, seven. How, that's how cute he is. JJ, you, how long have you been dancing? I don't know. You don't know? How long have you been uh, knowing Mr. Mr. Randall? Yeah, how long you know me for? I don't know. Months. There you go. Months. 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 Okay. Months. It's been longer than okay, months. Okay, but you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to bust a move for us regardless of how long you know this man, huh? Yeah. All right, I thought, thank you. That's, that's good enough for me, man. Thank you for showing JJ's up. JJ's one of our dancing ground students at uh, our Rise Academy. We got some in-school programs at our Rise Academy. He, he dances over there with Mr. Justine. I know he ain't here acting shy. I know. You don't mm -hmm. look shy to me, man. Mm -hmm. He's not shy. Watch that music come on. You look like, like you got girls. <laughs> you better not have girls. You're too yeah. for that. Nah. JJ ain't got girls. Thanks again to the Buku Dance Crew, man. We're going to see y'all. The Facebook Live will see y'all busting the move in just a minute. Right, dude? Yes. As long as we got the song queued up for the yeah. break. Uh, hit him. Not just yet. Hit him one more time. Um, we're going to do... Oh, time is it? I think it's time to go to break. Ooh, ooh, it's, time, it's time to go to break, y'all. We can go to break when we come back. Break we got some, what, some more what's going break on time. our shit topics now you know. here on the Misbelief Radio okay. Show. I'm DC Paul. Who else we got here? Martin Vance. That's right. And in DMA. And we're here in the studio having the in-studio party, sipping the Misbelief Punch. My man Kyle Smith finally took his seat at...